boys and girls, how are you all today? Thanks for joining your SAP teachers in today's mini mindfulness lesson. Today we have myself, Miss Lawrence. We have Mrs. Elliot. Hi everyone. We miss you. Mrs. Darlington. Hi. Hope you're having fun learning from home. And Mr. Forrester. Hi boys and girls. Hope you're all well and safe. We are sharing with you today a wellbeing activity that you can make at home. Sometimes when you have been working hard or need a break from learning, our brain and body needs to re-energize with a sensory activity. And we have a fun one for you today. Welcome to the world of making fluffy cloud dough. Did I just hear you say cloud dough, Mrs. Elliot? Yes, let's make some cloud dough. Does that mean we are catching clouds from the sky and putting them in the dough? Oh, Miss Darlington, you'll have to follow along and you'll see. After watching this video, you can re-watch it and have a go at making it at home with a parent. Sounds like fun. So, what things do we need? Well, we need a medium-sized bowl. We need one wooden spoon. We need half a cup of hair conditioner. And we also need one cup of corn flour. Remember to ask mum or dad first before beginning this activity. Step one, place your medium sized bowl on the table in front of you. You might like to add a tea towel to stop your bowl from slipping. Step two, Add one cup of corn flour to the bowl. Step three, add half a cup of hair conditioner to the bowl. Step four, use a wooden spoon to mix your two ingredients until it gets hard to mix. Great, Mrs. Darlington. Good mixing. It smells so good. The ingredients are starting to combine. Takes a little time, but keep going. It's getting harder to mix. As you can see, the mixture is now crumbly. Looking good, Mrs. Darlington. It's starting to come together now like a thick paste. The mixture has come together, but it's a little bit sticky. I think I need to add some corn flour. I'll help you, Miss Darlington. Here's some corn flour. Thank you. Feeling better now. A bit more, do you think? Check. Step five, use your hands to finish kneading the dough together. How does it feel Miss Darlington? Oh, it feels really good now, nice and soft. Let's it's use some words to describe how our flour dough is feeling. Does it feel fluffy? Yes. Smooth. Very smooth. It smells delicious. Our cloud dough is finished. Doesn't it look great? At this stage, you could use your cloud dough for baking patterns. Or you could create imaginative characters with your dough, like this alien here. Now let's make this more interesting. Each one of your teachers has their own idea to share with you. Mrs. Elliot? Girls and boys, I've made glitter cloud dough. How did you make that, Mrs. Elliot? I placed my cloud dough in a plastic bag, added the glitter, and used that bag to mix it all together. Then I have glitter cloud dough. Looks fantastic. All right, now we have Mr. Forrester. What are you going to make with your cloud dough, Mr. Forrester? Miss Lawrence, I'm going to write a message in my cloud dough using alphabet beads. Sounds cool. 
Learn from home. Learn from home. Now we have Mrs. Darlington. I made some patterns in my cloud dough. I'm going to turn it over so you can see using sequins. So I'm going to finish the pattern, putting a star in, pushing it in gently. And the next one. Wow, look at that. Thanks for watching our cloud dough video, girls and boys. We hope you enjoy this sensory activity that you can use as a mindfulness tool when you're learning from home. We can't wait to see you all soon. Bye. Bye. See ya.